What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Will on a Whim. My name is Will, and today we're gonna go back to school. <laughs> so, no, settle down. Class, class. <laughs> uh, settle down. Patricia! Honey, can you be quiet? Hi, Dios mio. Okay, like I said, we're gonna go back to school to learn all about twisting, flat twisting, regular twisting, how to reduce puffy roots, even how to get those cute little curly ends at the end of your twist. We're gonna cover it all in today's video, so let's go ahead and get this thing started. <laughs> Flat twisting. It looks complicated by Avril Lavigne, but it's actually easy by Lana Ritchie. Before you get started, part off a section of hair where you want your flat twist to be. Now, go to where you want your flat twist to start and take a section of hair and split that into two. One section on the top and one section on the bottom. And pro tip alert, okay, you wanna keep your hands like close to the roots. So go ahead and grab a little closer. So now that you have everything set up, everything's cute and tidy, it's time to actually flat twist, okay? Step one, take those two sections and literally twist them around each other. Boom, first step done. The second step is for kids 18 and older because you'll have to take the middle finger, take the middle finger on the hand holding the bottom section and snatch the top section. So now you're holding both sections in one hand. Now here's the fun part. For step three, we're gonna do something I call the scoop and pinch, the scoop and pinch. Hey, hey, the scoop and pinch. Ah! With your free hand, go ahead and make a little pinching motion with your pointer finger and your thumb and scoop the bottom section. But, holds up now, plot twist. Also scoop up a little bit more hair and then pinch. This adds more hair to the bottom section and helps you start your flat twist. Next, release the hair from your other hand and grab the top section. And I don't know if you've noticed, but we're basically at step one again. You have a top and bottom section in either hand. All you gotta do is twist those sections around each other, use the middle finger on the hand holding the bottom section to snatch the top section. With your now free hand, go ahead and scoop the bottom section and pinch a little bit more hair. And boom, you're at step one again. You just gotta keep doing that, okay? And as you practice, you'll get quicker. You'll start doing like two steps at the same time and it'll be so much more natural. All you have to do is like break it down into steps. So let's break this thing down to make it even more simple. Twist, snatch, scoop, and pinch. Twist, snatch, scoop, and pinch. It's real simple. And there you have it on flat twisting. Keep a tight grip, work on detangled hair, and you'll have this down in no time. Once the concept really like settles in your brain, you'll be able to flat twist like backwards at the back side of your head. And um, pro tip about that actually, because this helped me a lot, is throwing your head like yeet all the way over to make it seem like you're working on the front side of your hair where you learned how to flat twist. Um, that helps a lot. It just like tricks your brain and your hands to work in the same way that you learned. So there's that. You would think this is like hella easy, but no, it takes lots of practice and precision. And believe it or not, technique is really important. This is the part where I tell you about a pro tip. Ah! Quickly, if you want fat, short, plump twist, you probably wanna add a little bit more like water and use bigger sections. If you want skinny, thin, stick twists, ah! work on smaller sections that aren't as moist. But here's my technique, okay? Step one, split a section of hair into two and grabbing close to your roots, twist the two sections around each other. Now I'm gonna speed through down the twist a little bit just to show you the technique a bit more clearly. Take one of the sections and twist it between your thumb and your pointer finger. And then after that, take both of the sections and twist them around each other. And then you just repeat, twist between your thumb and pointer finger and twist the two sections around each other. I 
I've heard so many people call these so many different things, like rope twist, Senegalese twist. I don't know if there's a real difference. Either way, the technique is sort of the same. You twist one section and then you twist those sections around each other. This will give you, in my opinion, the sleekest, toughest twist out there. Now, pro tip, because I get all of the time the question of like, how do I prevent unraveling? You do all this work, okay, risking carpal tunnel, and then your twist just comes undone? disrespectful rude i would say try to avoid rubber bands because i know that's like the first resort look for a real thick cream or gel to seal the end so that it sort of like acts as a paste or like a glue to keep your twist together Okay, we gotta talk about the puffy roots. Besides just using a grip that's close to the roots, there are a few things that you can do to help reduce puffy roots. Generally, people with coarser, thicker hair will have like issues with this, but okay, you can work on smaller sections. You can also add a little bit of water and use like a slickening gel. A lot of people like to use edge control at the beginning of their twist to make sure everything is all like sleek and not puffy. Like it's not movie <laughs> i say be gentle at your roots you don't want to cause any extra breakage so just make sure you have enough like moisture there to handle you know the elasticity that's needed in order to twist appropriately without breakage besides that you can actually flat twist a little bit at the root of your twist you don't have to just go into a regular twist you can flat twist a little bit and that will absolutely help you reduce puffy twist or puffy roots <laughs> Now, obviously these cute little curly ends will look different depending on your curl type, but there are some things that you can do to sort of like get the look. Step one is to add your favorite leave-in conditioner and your favorite gel to the ends of your twist and spread it through thoroughly. Step two is to take a comb or something to detangle your end. I got this detangling comb from Sally Beauty. It has like dull rubber ends, so it's not gonna harm my hair in any way. It gets all of my hair strands in formation and makes sure that all of my curl pattern is like aligned. Step three is the fun part, like the ooh, the ah. Continue twisting your hair and wrap the end of your hair around your pointed finger or whichever finger you're comfortable using, and that will encourage your curl pattern to create the thing that we're looking for. You know what I mean? The cute curly end. Like I said, results will vary based on your curl pattern, but it is what it is. Dun -dun. <laughs> so there you have it. Twisting 101 is over. Okay, the bell does not dismiss you. I dismiss you. Didn't y'all hate when y'all teachers used to say that? Like, shut, yes, 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 the bell does dismiss us. That's what it's there for. Anyway, Twisting 101, it was fun. Go off and practice until you look like a young Sky Jackson. Don't give up, you'll get there. Thank you all for watching today's episode of Will on a Whim. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all learned something. If you did, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. And if you wanna stick around, be my friend, be my homie, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, okay? I do have two Instagrams now, underscore Will on a Whim and at will not willy a lot of people are like what's that new one you made like is it a fake account i'm getting so many dms no it's not fake y'all it's me anyway i have a second youtube channel as well called will on a whim more you can go ahead and follow me there but i hope to see you all back here real soon for another episode of will on a whim but until then bye